Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the paper Large Language Models as Zero Shot Reasoners. So, prompting is a way in which you elicit responses from large language models. In a few short prompting, um, you do have uh, certain examples or demonstrations as part of the prompt. Um, here, for example, uh, you have a reasoning task and you have a question. Roger has five tennis balls. Uh, he buys two more cans of tennis balls and each can has three tennis balls. How many tennis balls does he have now? And uh, the answer is 11. And then there is the actual question for which we want a response from the language model. Um, where you have a juggler can juggle 16 balls. Half of the balls are golf balls and half of the golf balls are blue. How many blue golf balls are there? Right? Um, you expect the response from the language model. So then there is zero shot learning where um, you do not provide the language model with any demonstrations or examples. So here, uh, this is this illustrates zero shot learning. You just have the question from here and then you have another string like the answer is uh, and you expect the language model to come up with the um, answer. Right. So uh, recently there was um, another paper called chain of thought reasoning, which uh, basically uh, said that uh, in large language models, you can improve the performance by um, having the chain of thought as well in reasoning tasks, right? So uh, the same question is before, right? Um, and this was uh, basically uh, a few short chain of thought where you do have examples or demonstrations showing uh, what is expected of the language model. So here you have the same question from before. Um, and then here, instead of just giving the answer, uh, which is 11, you now um, have uh, the chain of thought or uh, the series of reasoning steps, right? Roger started with five balls, two cans of three tennis balls, each is six tennis balls, and five plus six is 11, the answer is 11. And then you have your question. And then now the language model, instead of just spitting out the answer, uh, like here, it also gives you the uh, chain of thought or the reasoning steps. So in this paper, they propose a zero shot COT. So zero shot is when you don't have any demonstrations or examples. So here in zero shot COT, you just have the question for which you want a response from the language model. And here um, you insert a reasoning prompt. So here in this example, the reasoning prompt is let's think step by step. And then they find that uh, the language model basically gives the series of reasoning steps right, uh, in answering the question. So um, the method is shown here. Um, so you have the question here for uh, a reasoning task. They do not have any uh, demonstrations or examples. And um, they, they basically use the reasoning prompt here. Let's think step by step and feed this to the language model. And then they get the series of uh, reasoning steps from the language model or the chain of thought. And the answer is inside these, it, it is embedded in this uh, chain of thought, which is returned by the language model. So that answer needs to be extracted. So they feed the question and uh, the answer which was generated by the language model to the language model again. And they have an answer extraction um, prompt. Right, and here it is, uh, therefore the answer is, and then the language model basically extracts the answer from, uh, from the reasoning steps which was provided here, right? So, um, so if you see, it basically differs from um, the original few short uh, chain of thought paper in that uh, there are no demonstrations or examples. So crafting a prompt for a different uh, data set is very simple. It's as simple as just having a reasoning uh, prompt as well as a answer extraction prompt. And uh, you do not have to select any examples from the data set. You do not have to specify the chain of thought uh, reasoning steps for the examples which are selected, which makes it much easier to uh, write the prompt for a new data set. So in this table, they compare uh, zero shot and zero shot COT on um, 
tasks, reasoning tasks, right? Um, for the arithmetic reasoning, so they basically, uh, the tasks which are used here are all reasoning tasks, um, be it arithmetic or common sense or other reasoning tasks, or symbolic reasoning. And they find that uh, zero short chain of thought uh, most of the times is better to just uh, vanilla uh, zero short prompting. And um, they also use different models uh, for these experiments, such as Instruct GPT-3, uh, GPT-3, Palm, GPT-Neo, GPT-2. Oops, sorry. GPT-J, T0, and OPT, right? Um, so yeah, so basically this shows that for reasoning, zero-shot COT performance is better than uh, zero-shot performance, right? And then they compare um, on arithmetic uh, data sets, um, which involve reasoning. They compare zero-shot, few-shot, and their method, right? So here you can see that zero-shot to few shot few shot is performing better than zero shot um, but uh, they compare their method which is zero shot cot which shows a big jump in performance from vanilla zero shot and it also performs better than a few shot prompting right um, and um, uh, but but it doesn't perform as good as a uh, few shot chain of thought um, few shot chain of thought still beats zero shot chain of thought. Um, and uh, they also have their method, uh, zero plus few shot chain of thought, where um, before each example, before uh, specifying the reasoning steps uh, for each example or demonstration, they append let's think step by step. And um, they, they see some uh, performance improvement uh, when they do that, at least for the um, GSM 8K data set. Right. Um, so basically, uh, the takeaway from here is that uh, zero shot COT is better than zero shot prompting and few shot prompting. Uh, may not be as good as um, few shot chain of thought, but um, it, it's much easier to craft the prompt and uh, you don't have to manually write the chain of thought steps for any data set, any new data set which you are using. Um, these figures show how um, zero shot COT scales compared to zero shot. So um, there is a certain threshold. I think it's like it's around 7 billion where you see that uh, zero shot COT scales better compared to zero shot prompting. And then they do error analysis where um, they study the uh, questions where um, zero shot COT does not give the right answer. And uh, they try to look at the different uh, logical steps, which is uh, reasoned by the model, right? So, um, and there are some interesting observations. Um, so here, for example, uh, where is a value stoica likely to be found? Um, and there are th these are multiple choice uh, questions. Uh, a child's room, a boy's bedroom, own home, toy store, house, right? And, um, and then they ask the language model with the reasoning prompt. Let's think step by step. So uh, the response from the model is a toy car is likely to be found in a child's room. A child's room is likely to be found in a house. Therefore, a toy car is likely to be found in a house. So here, um, therefore among, and then you need to extract the right answer, right? These are the reasoning steps. And then you uh, have another uh, prompt. You feed in the question answer and another prompt. Therefore among A through E, the answer is, and the language model basically returns E, which is house. So um, where is a ground truth is a child's room. Um, but then the, the logical steps are, uh, are right, but, um, yeah, there's just some confusion with, with more reasoning right at the end. And that's why it got it wrong. Let's look at another misclassified um, example, right? Where um, the question is, what would be necessary for getting back in shape? Uh, and answer choices are good health, exercise, muscle tone, sweat, and feel better. And uh, let's think step by step. So now the language model basically generates the steps. Uh, the chain of thought is in order to get in shape you need to be able to do three things, exercise regularly, eat a healthy diet, get enough sleep. 
if you can do all three of those things then you will be on your way to um, getting in shape right and then again you have to feed both these and then the answer extraction prompt therefore among a through e the answer is it basically gives multiple answers p c and d which is eating a, a sorry which is exercising muscle tone and sweat right so the right answer is included uh, but it gives multiple answers so um, the reasoning steps are uh, good whereas uh, when it's trying to extract the answer that's when you know the, the, the reasoning steps basically point to multiple different answers um and then they experiment with different kinds of um the templates right um the uh, reasoning prompt uh, which we saw before was let's think step by step and that seems to perform really well uh, but there there could be other um, templates as well uh, like let's be realistic and think step by step uh, broadly they categorize it as instructive which aids in reasoning or which is basically asking the language model to reason and list steps and then misleading which is not really um, a prompt related to reasoning or listing out the steps and irrelevant which are straight up um, not relevant to the task right and then the baseline is zero shot and they find that um, instructive prompts perform better than misleading and irrelevant prompts and um, and they definitely do perform better than just zero shot and um in this table they basically compare uh, zero shot and few shot so um in the few shot uh, chain of thought um if you recall from the previous uh, uh, chain of thought reasoning paper uh, you need to select certain examples from the data set right um so if it was a math data set reasoning data set you need to select relevant uh, examples from it and um whereas in zero shot chain of thought you don't really need to do anything you just have to uh use the string which uh like let's think step by step uh which is um uh, which helps the model in listing out the different reasoning steps and uh, here um what they do is uh, let's say you have a task which is multiple choice right you have to answer multiple choice questions and um if you pick examples from a different data set now here um they pick examples from common sense question answer data set uh but then they use it on um uh, two different uh two other different data sets right um and they basically see that the performance is not as good as if you picked examples from the same data set so you see a degradation in performance and that is more pronounced in the arithmetic data set um whereas um even though there is a degradation in performance um providing these um chain of thought examples are better than uh, vanilla zero shot prompting but then if you look at zero shot chain of thought where you don't really have to pick any examples you see that there is sort of uh, the performance is um uh, is better than the few shot uh, cot with mismatched examples but not as good as the few shot cot with examples from the same data set um so this this can be uh, favored uh, in terms of uh, the ease of crafting prompts for a new data set and uh, yeah that's um, that's the paper so the major contribution of this paper is uh, this zero shot chain of thought which is a reasoning prompt um to elicit um, a, a response from the language model such that uh, there are different uh, reasoning steps listed right and uh, this performs better than uh, zero shot prompting and few shot prompting maybe not as good as a uh, few shot um, chain of thought but um, but but still it saves the hassle of trying to pick examples from the data set and um, specify the reasoning steps for each of those examples